is going on everyone? So in this week's video, I wanna talk a little bit about my adventure mobile, my Toyota 4Runner. This is not only the vehicle I use when I go on these trips, it's also my daily driver. And through all the years of going on these trips, I've kind of learned how to configure it so that I can kind of stay organized, so I can be self-contained. So I'm gonna be heading out to Death Valley here pretty soon, not long after recording this video. And by the time this video plays, I will already be out in the field. But I have to carry enough food, water, supplies, camera gear, keep batteries charged, staying organized, sleep in the back. And I found that the 4Runner works really, really well for my purposes. So let's head out to the garage and I'll show you how I have it all set up. So this is my 2014 Toyota 4Runner. I have 85,000 miles on it. And before this, I had a 2004 4Runner. I've just found that the 4Runners are great for what I do. It gives me enough space to basically have, you know, up to about two weeks worth of supplies inside to be able to sleep in the back, to carry all the photo gear. I basically live out of it kind of like an RV for one or two weeks at a time. I've done just a little bit to the actual vehicle itself. I did put another suspension in. So I have an Icon Stage 2 suspension, which gives me about three inches of lift. So I have about a foot of ground clearance, which is just fine for where I'm going. I also have BF Goodrich, the all-terrain ATKO2 tires. Um, they're the 20, 285 7017 tires or E-rated tires. And I have to run them a little over 40 PSI on the highway. And then if I take them uh, off-road, I usually bring them down to about 15 or 20 PSI. And I do have a way of airing them up with a CO2 tank, which I'll show you on the inside. Um, works really well as my daily driver, as well as for going on dedicated trips. I usually put a roof rack on the top as well where I can carry extra gas. But the other main reason for the roof rack is so I can throw a solar panel up there. Um, and that feeds power to a cooler I have in the back to keep my film cool, which is one of the important things when working with film. But let's take a look inside. I'm going to show you how I have the inside configured. So first you'll notice that I took out the seat bottoms. Um, so I can fold down the seat backs in the back. And that gives me this kind of nice trough right there, kind of behind the driver's seat, behind the passenger seat. It's a really good area to store things. It's also really important that I can have it where it stays nice and flat through here, because that gives me the ability to sleep in the back. Um, because if I don't have the rear seats taken out, it's not quite enough space to sleep in the back when necessary. So I store a couple of important things here in the front. So I have this big red bag, which is filled with all the clothes and everything that I need for the trip. But underneath that is the CO2 tank, and that's what I use to air the tires back up. This is something I need to have easy access to, and it works out pretty well. All I gotta do is pull that bag up. And then there is my CO2 tank. Uh, this will fill up my tires about um, one PSI every two seconds. So it doesn't take very long to go from, you know, 15 or 20 PSI back up to 40 PSI when I need to. It's a lot faster than using a compressor. I just have to make sure that I top off this tank whenever I go on the trips, because if I run out of this, I can't air my tires back up again. So here's the inside. So this is back behind the driver's seat. I already showed you the big red case here in the CO2 tank underneath it. Uh, next to that, I have these two cases. This is where I store my video kit. They just clip right onto my backpack, but when I'm not using them, they go right down in here. It's an easy way to not lose them. Uh, I have a moving blanket that I lay down over the whole back seat area here. Um, this helps keep my truck really, really clean when I'm out in the field. If my backpacks are covered in mud, sand, whatever, I can just throw them in here and not worry about it. But when I get back from the trip, I can just take these out, kind of shake it out, and then I get rid of all that dirt really easy. So it really helps with the cleanup time. Uh, over here, I have this case. This is one uh, from F-Stop Gear. I used to use this for my video kit, but now it just, I just use it to store all just miscellaneous stuff. So, uh, you know, extra stuff, batteries, memory cards, uh, Allen wrenches, just all the sort of miscellaneous support stuff and stuff for the video kit. Uh, that all goes in there. And then over here, my 8x10 camera is in that pack along with some film holders. And underneath that is where I store all the tripods. So it's just kind of a good area down there so things aren't gonna rattle around or move around, especially when I'm on some of the rougher roads. And then over here, I'll have to try to keep this area here pretty clean because it kind of becomes a little bit of a living space at times. Um, but this is where I store the backpacks. Uh, this is from Mindshift Gear. This is the Rotation 180 Horizon backpack. So this is what I use as my lightweight scouting pack. Um, and I have some of my uh, like slider motors and stuff in that. And then this right here is my main backpack. I usually try to keep it empty when it's in here because it kind of, it's a little bit, uh, it's just simpler that way. 
Um, so I have that in here. And next up, I'm gonna show you what is in the back cargo area of the 4Runner. So one of the things I love about the 4Runner is this rear sliding cargo tray. Some people really don't like it, but I love it because it gives easy access to stuff that would otherwise be kind of hard to get. Also because the bumper kind of sticks out a little bit on the 4Runner, so reaching into the back of it is a little tricky, but this makes it really easy. I take another one of those moving blankets, throw it at the top of everything. It just kind of makes it a little cleaner to work with. Um, but also I get this little pocket right here where if I'm loading film back here, it gives me a place to put film holders or other things along those lines. Um, the main thing I have back here is this cooler. This is a very inexpensive uh, thermoelectric cooler from Coleman. You plug it into the car's 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. And uh, so basically that keeps this nice and cool as I'm driving around, but also I can hook it up to a solar panel. I do have two bolts that go through this, through the tray underneath it, so this is bolted to the back. And everything else is kind of bungeed to it. And I kind of came up with that plan because uh, this case, and there's a case back behind it, these two will always stay here, which is good. They're actually uh, kind of strapped together. But then I have these three cases over here, which if I need to sleep in the back, I just kind of uh, move those around to kind of the middle section there and I have a nice big channel that runs back over here where I can actually sleep in the back really comfortably so it's really easy to adapt my old setup I didn't have a really good way of sleeping in the back but this actually works out really well uh, these cases right here uh, I think these are called the CC17 case from Temba these are the car cases but I'll have them linked down below in the uh, show notes I have three of these these are really really useful this one right here I store my water in so rather than using a water container which is really gonna be prone to leaking. Um, these ones, I have three of these 10 liter uh, cases from MSR in here. And so I can fill those up with water. They're gonna be stored upright, they won't leak. But as I use the water, I have the ability to kind of reclaim some of that space back again to store some additional stuff, which is kind of nice. Uh, but I have this right next to the cooler because there's a little bit of weight involved with this, with all the water in there. But it gives really easy access to that water, which is, which is really nice. Uh, over here, I have another case. This is sort of my pantry. So I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here. A lot of it is gonna be the uh, you know, freeze-dried backpacking type food, which is a lot of what I eat when I go on the trips just because I'm worn out. I don't really wanna cook things when I get back to camp. I also carry some other stuff as well as like for you know bread and some stuff for some sandwiches, but I'll have a lot of that food in here. I have my uh, backpacking camp stove right here uh, with some fuel in there as well. And then back over here, I have one more of those cases. Uh, and here I have a little bit of camera gear. So I have some lenses and stuff in here, stuff that's not actively uh, being used for the rest of it. Uh, film holders back there. And then in this case back over here, I have kind of miscellaneous camping gear. So, you know, tent, bivy, uh, you know, spikes for my boots, all that sort of stuff is all back in this container, as well as the, you know, ultralight backpacking gear for if I end up having to need that. So this is stuff I don't have as much of a need for um, as far as being able to access it routinely. So it's a little harder to get to this stuff, but really, really easy to get to. You also notice how I can get to all these really easily, but this is nice and flat. That's really good for if I'm loading film back here because I can set up my film changing tent right here. It's a perfect height where I can kind of sit here, load film. I'm underneath the rear canopy. I have speakers here to uh, listen to satellite radio as I'm loading film. And then the other thing I have back here, this is more of a space holder. Um, it's just like a sleeping mat. Underneath here though, I have uh, my Intrepid 8x10 camera. I also have uh, another container that has like some snacks and stuff in it. So, um, and this just kind of nestles in there right over the top of it. So the key thing, flat surface, cooler, food, water, everything in here. But also I can take these three cases, slide them around on the other side over there. And I have a nice good sleeping channel in the back where I can configure it. That way I can sleep in my truck if it's raining or if I just kind of feel like it. And I know I'm going to be definitely doing some of that on my next trip. Uh, but next, next, let's take a look uh, at the front, the center console. That's where I have my charging station for all the batteries, including for this camera right here, because that's another really important thing when going on these trips. So the front cab part of my 4Runner, I like to try to keep it nice and clean. I like to try to keep things organized. I don't like piling things up all over. And one of the most important parts is the center console because that is the charging station for all my video camera batteries and everything else. So if we take a look in here, you'll see that I have a Goal Zero Sherpa 50 battery. 
and that is hooked into a 12 volt outlet inside the uh, center console here. So whenever I'm driving, whenever I have the car going, it is gonna charge up that battery. So it's kind of a, it's an easy way to remember to keep things charged up. Uh, the only thing is if I'm sitting for a long time, if I'm you know, parked at some sand dunes for three or four days, if I'm not driving around, that battery is not gonna get charged. But I do have the ability to hook it to a solar panel to charge it up. But into that, I have a dual charger for the batteries for my Sony camera, for my A7S II. I also have some USB chargers that I will hook to my, um, the little batteries for my RX100. So I can basically charge everything off there, charge my phone, charge my satellite messenger. So I like to try to keep this front compartment really nice and clean down in there. Uh, just keep it all nice and organized because that's one of the more important things. Um, but that is how I have everything configured in my truck. Um, it'll keep me going for, I don't know, somewhere between one and two weeks on my trips. And uh, definitely will be a little filthy by the time I get back, but it's really cozy, works out really well. And uh, by the time you're watching this video, I will be in Death Valley putting this truck to good use, hopefully staying nice and organized and back there. I wanna thank everyone for watching and we'll see you around next week.